Hi, my name is Abby Molly. I'm 18 and I have a form of muscular dystrophy. So there are 43 different kinds of muscular dystrophy. Um, one of the most uh, well-known types is ALS, and so I have a different form of it called Charcot-Marie Tooth, or CMT. I was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy when I was two years old, and I can walk, but I use uh, the wheelchair for long distances. I have weakness in my legs and my feet and hands, so I'm fortunate because my type of muscular dystrophy um, it's not fatal, but there are several kinds that are. So I've been involved with the Muscular Dystrophy Association, or MDA, since I was four years old. I just did work with the local telethons and uh, other local events, and then later on, I was the California State Goodwill Ambassador for two years, and after that, I was the National Goodwill Ambassador for four years. So what that meant is that I would travel around the state and around the country, attending sponsor meetings and fundraisers and um, different conventions, and I would sing and speak at events, meet all kinds of people, and but ultimately spread awareness about muscular dystrophy and neuromuscular diseases and things like that. And one thing that I've been able to do is get to know a lot of um, the, I guess, celebrity sponsors that MDA has and actually a lot of country music artists. I was able to actually sing on the um, Grand Ole Opry with Darius Rucker maybe three, uh, four or five years ago. Um, and so that footage was used for the telethon, which is um, the Jerry Lewis MDA Labor Day telethon, which would happen um, every year. And it's been going on since I think the 50s or the 60s and they did that up until a couple years ago. So as the ambassador, I would be on that through different points throughout that and I would sing and speak and accept checks from sponsors and introduce people and things like that. And I'm really um, fortunate that I've been able to have all of these experiences because it just gives me a different perspective on life and also has been giving me skills that I use in college and that I'm gonna use uh, for the rest of my life. One of my goals here at Chapman is to increase disability awareness of all the different things that we have to do that maybe able-bodied people might not have to think about. Sometimes there's the connotation that if you're in a wheelchair or have some kind of disability that maybe you're less than or you don't have mental capacity, which in some cases that's true, but it's not good to assume things like that, which is why it's a really good idea to ask questions if you don't know rather than just staring because I'll just speak for myself, but I really appreciate when people take the time to get to know me and ask me thoughtful questions rather than just staring and making up their own things in their head. I would just encourage everybody to um, try to maybe step out of your comfort zone a little bit and try to talk to somebody you wouldn't normally talk to and just find out about them and I'm sure that you'll find something in common and ultimately gaining empathy and compassion for everybody regardless of their ability is what I'm hoping to spread while I'm here at Chapman. My name is Abby Molly, I have muscular dystrophy and this is my story.